Aloha, my name is Owen, and uh, my presentation today is on the 12 girls band from China. Since I am a, a Chinese, this is what I choose to talk about. Uh, hopefully through uh, this presentation, you will be able to learn a little bit more about the Chinese culture through music and some of the musical instrument. Um, so, as you can see here in this picture, uh, there's 12 females and each of them carry a different instrument and those were all traditional Chinese uh, instrument. Here is a little bit introduction of this group. It is a Chinese musical group that is initially consistent of 12 female members um, and later there was an additional member, the 13th member at the end. And it is formed on June 18, 2001 as you can see, this is a, um, it's only been around for a little bit over 10 years. Women were selected by audition from more than 4,000 contestants. As you can tell, those 12 women won the big competition and they were the best one out of 4,000. That wasn't a very easy competition, but they were able to win and form that group. Each woman is classically trained and had good education on music. They all went to pretty well-known uh, Chinese school. And the 12 girls band used traditional Chinese instrument to play both traditional Chinese and Western music. Later on the slide, I will show and uh, tell a little bit about the instrument they were using and also play a little video uh, for you to watch those instruments. It's quite uh, talented. Here is a little bit history of it. It is the Chinese numerology gave Wang Xiaojin the idea of the 12 girls band because in China, 12, uh, the number 12 has a special meaning. It represents womanhood in Chinese mythology. Uh, that's why there's 12 and it's women, females. The group debuted their modern compositions on ancient instrument in China and Japan during the northern summer of 2003. In Japan, their debut album topped the charts for 30 weeks. Here are the list of the instruments these 12 members of this band plays. The first one is Arhu, is a Chinese fiddle, and the second one is Pipa, it is a pure shaped loop, and the third one is Guzheng, is a zither and Yang Qin is a hammered uh, duclamer and Dizi uh, a transverse flute actually I learned how to play these when I was very young so I still know how to play these but I haven't really played for a long time uh, next one is Xiao is a vertical flute and uh, Du Xian Qin it is a sing string zither and Hulu Si which is a three-popped girl flute. So here are some of the instruments, and uh, here's a picture of it. Uh, the first one on the left, uh, this is Arhu. My grandpa used to play this, and he was very good at it. He was a teacher for a couple years, just teaching of this instrument to younger generations. And this is a Diz, as you can see. This one is called Xiao. They are kind of similar. And uh, this is a Gu Zheng, and this is Hulu Qin. So those are some of the very old and traditional Chinese instruments uh, that uh, a lot of younger people, they don't really know how to play anymore. Here is a video uh, of uh, the 12 girls band playing those uh, uh, music uh, using the different instrument. Here, I'm going to just go on YouTube right here as you can watch.
So that's a little bit about that band and their performance. As you can see in the picture, uh, in the video, uh, each of them were playing a different instrument. And uh, the instrument they were playing was just the ones I showed the picture of. Uh, so as you can see, they were pretty talented and pretty good at it. Uh, okay, the next slide, I'm going to talk a little bit about their performance, other performance they did. In July 2003, um, they performed a beautiful energy that was their first album in Japan, uh, which reached the top of the J pop chart. They also toured in the US in 2004 of the Miracles Tour and also again came back to US in 2005. On July 7th, 2007, they performed with the group in October and November 2007 on their North American tour. In 2008, the Yangqin player Ma Jingjing did a concert playing the Yangqin and the Gu Zheng. Uh, she is actually a really talented um, instrument player. Yangqin and Gu Zheng are very old traditional Chinese instrument. Uh, they are pretty hard to learn and uh, take a lot of practice, but she was one of the best Yangqin and Gu Zheng player in China that I know. I remember I enjoy listening to uh, her playing uh, since I was young and uh, I kind of grew up with the instrument uh, kind of like American grew up with a listening piano or organ. Uh, here is uh, al albums of some of their original works and uh, I actually listened to uh, quite a couple of those emblems growing up. The first one is Mei Li Yin Yue Hui. Um, and also the um, beautiful energy and the Kiko and the Eastern energy and Tonko which is romantic energy and also Shanghai so those are just some of the album that they uh, did and those are all the original works and there are a lot of other uh, songs they perform and also a lot of performance um, but I really enjoy um, listening to their performance because it's really kind of show uh, the Chinese culture and uh, a lot of instruments that uh, were used together to show about Chinese music culture and also it shows all the talents uh, those ladies have uh, because back then a lot of women they um, you know there's a little bit uh, uh, gender um, problem and there's a um, people think women they don't have much talent so that's the kind of the old thinking in China that's why this video kind of shows how women they were very talented and uh, they were very educated in music um, so the next slide I'm going to um, talk a lot, uh, watch another video to just show you a little bit more about their work um, and uh, hopefully you will I enjoy this.
Okay, for the time sake, I'm going to just stop here, and uh, I hope you enjoy. All right, for the uh, sake of time, I'm going to just stop there. So here is the end of the my presentation, and I hope you learned something about the 12 Gorge Band. Uh, mahalo.